Helicopters are versatile machines with the ability to operate from almost anywhere, however, to operate safely, they need some essential facilities like dust-free landing sites, firefighting equipment, wind direction indicator, helipad marking, and crowd control measure. There are three main selections for helipads but its usage may dictate the type required, and these are, surface level helipad, elevated helipads, and helidecks. Surface level heliports include all heliports located on ground level or a structure on the water's surface. They can consist of a single or several helipads. Elevated heliports are located above ground level and consist of elevated helipads and helidecks. An elevated heliport is located on a raised structure on land. These are usually located on the top of commercial buildings, residential buildings, and hospitals. A helideck is a heliport located on a fixed or floating offshore structure such as a ship or oil platform and is predominantly used by the oil and gas and shipping industries. Helidecks can also be used in above ground level applications when an existing structure is required to be retrofitted with helicopter landing facilities. The identification marking identifies the location as a heliport, marks the touchdown and liftoff area and provides visual cues to the pilot. The marking consists of a white H located in the center of the TLOF and oriented on the axis of the preferred approach departure path. The TLOF marking defines the perimeter of a TLOF with a continuous white line. The touchdown positioning circle marking provides guidance to allow pilot to touch down in a specific position on paved surfaces. A TPDC marking is a yellow circle, and located in the center of a TLOF. Rooftop and elevated TLOFs are constructed of metal or concrete. It requires the provision of fall protection, however, the use of permanent railings or fences are not allowed since they would be safety hazards during helicopter operations. Installation of a safety net is an option but it needs to make sure the net does not project or protrude above the level of the TLOF. The nets must be constructed of materials that are resistant to environmental effects. TLOF surfaces use a finish that provides a skid-resistant surface for helicopters and non-slippery footing for people. Often the words heliport and helipad are used interchangeably, but they are actually two different things. A heliport is a fixed base operation that provides a range of services, including customs, maintenance, fuel bunkering, and fire suppression. A helipad, on the other hand, is simply a designated area where a helicopter can land safely. Helipads are typically found at hotels, private residences, or hospitals, while heliports are usually found at airports. The final approach and takeoff area is the overall landing area, and it encompasses the TLOF area. <laughs>